guys. Welcome to my Saturday. I just got up. And I hadn't planned to actually have to make this video today because I made it three days ago. But the best laid plans of technology. Anyway, uh, so this week we're talking about domestic violence, which, and not just domestic, domestic violence, but abusive relationships. Here's my thing. The Chris Rihanna thing. It disturbs me a little bit that she would entertain the thought of taking someone back that bit her on the face. But gosh, we don't know anything about their lives or their journey or the situation enough. Hopefully the right thing happens, whatever that right thing may be. I remember when I was, gosh, probably 1920-ish, I was going out with some of my friends in college. We were going out to a dance club and... Um, in between two of the buildings, there was a guy who had his girlfriend by the neck up against the wall, and he was screaming at her, and kept, you know, taking his fist up like he was going to hit her. Um, and I <laughs> ran down the alley, with my friends running behind me like, what are you doing? And I told him, I said, don't you dare touch her. I don't know what I was thinking, really, but I kept daring him to hit me. Mostly so that my friends could call the police and we could get that situation solved and that poor girl didn't have to suffer anymore. And he didn't hit me, but I, I dared him to just, oh, please hit me. Because I will so press charges and send your ass to jail. But he didn't. But I remember thinking at the time, God, how could you get yourself into that kind of situation? Oh. How can you let that happen to your life? And how can you give that much control over to another human being and, and place yourself in such peril and such fear? Um, and then I met my ex-boyfriend. And I was a little older. I was in my 20s. And <sighs> he was handsome. He was successful. He said all the right things. The first month we were together was picture perfect and I fell hook line and sinker and then something happened you know once I was in so to speak um, he started making little comments and um, made some comments about my weight and then I was you know I was, just, I was like 10 8 10 at the time and he had told me if I ever gained weight that I that he would break up with me and he couldn't love a fat fat ass and um, he said a lot of other not, not, not nice things to me but he did another types of um, emotional manipulation he would call and threaten to kill himself um, if I didn't do something about it or if I broke up with him um, and, and would parlay that into some kind of weird you know thing that I'd have to do for him you know just to get me to do it he would manipulate me um, he he did other things that I'd rather not talk about right now. Um, he never hit me, but he used my mind and my body against me in a lot of ways um, that still really bother me to this day. Um, he violated who I was. He violated a lot of things. Um, and I... I just remember sitting down with a girlfriend to coffee and her saying, are you going to marry this guy? Because by the way, none of my friends liked him. That should have been a big fat fine. Seriously, 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 seriously. None of my friends liked him. But she said, you can marry this guy? And I said, probably. Like, I was just resigned for that to be my life. I was just ready to deal with that for the rest of my life. And then a couple weeks later after that, I cut my finger. I've had more stitches, I swear to God, than... Anyway, um, I cut my finger clicking, and I went to the hospital, and I guess it's pretty routine, but the first thing that the triage nurse asked me was, are you in an abusive relationship? Are you currently in an abusive relationship? And I looked at her, and I said, no. But it was that moment of, oh, oh my God, am I? Oh my God. And then she said, let me repeat that. Are you, 
are you in an abusive relationship? And so, oh, no, 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 sorry. I just don't feel good. I'm, I'm all right. The blood. But holy crap. I went home and thought, what the hell did I do? What the hell have I done to myself? And thank God I got out. Though I think we broke up so many times and got back together until I was really ready to let it go. Um... I just remember thinking, how, how did this happen to me? I was the vice president of the Women's Student Union. I'm all about take the power back. And I was ready to sacrifice my face to that asshole in the alley to save that girl. Why would I let myself be abused in any way? But when you're in it, something happens to your mind. You know, there, it, you become so myopic, so focused on person and what can I do to please them and what can I do to make them happy and what can I do to you know keep them you know status quo and it's like fucking crack like you can't, I craved the relationship and I was going to do everything in my power to save it so many people stay with their abuser because they think they don't there's no one else is going to love them like that you know, if this person who loved me so much is treating me this way, why would some stranger love me more than this or love me at all? And really the key is to talk to people. Let your friends be a mirror. Let your mother, your whoever you feel close to, let them be a mirror. They know. My friends knew he was bad news, but I didn't want to listen. If you're not sure, talk to somebody. If you are sure, talk to somebody. I swear to God, cross my heart, hope to die, that I would rather be alone for the rest of my life than be with someone that treated me that way. Take your power back and talk to people. But get out of it because you don't deserve it. Even if it's a friendship where the person treats you poorly and says things to you and beats you down emotionally or physically, get out of it. Uh, and to quote my favorite Queen Latifah song, You put your hands in me again, I'll put your ass in handcuffs. What?